why do you meditate is quite a loaded question, isn't it? Because why is a many-faceted word. could be referring to um, a goal that you have. In other words, why are you meditating? In other words, what is your goal? Um, you are here and you want to be over there. Uh, that kind of thing. Some sort of telos or teleological sort of this is where I'm headed. Um, there's another why, and that is what is your motivation for meditating? Um, what is it that you hope to accomplish, not in terms of a goal, but in terms of a state that you want to get to? Um, why is one of those <laughs> mind-blowingly complex questions, and it isn't necessarily answerable, except for I would say in terms of a certain perspective. From what perspective are you asking me why? Then I can perhaps answer. Um, because some people would reasonably say, if you're if you're sort of saying, I'm here and I want to be there, then you're kind of, instead of doing something, you're trying to do something. You know, like as um, Yoda said, uh, there is no try. You do or you do not. <laughs> um but then again, if you're sort of saying, what is your motivation for doing it? Um, your motivation is to work on your uh, concentration, your ability to relax your mind, etc. That, too, is not quite the same sort of teleological thing as I am here and I want to advance to that level. Um, we all have our different ways of motivating ourselves or our different paradigms of motivation. Um, meditation, if you ask me, is such a vast undertaking, um, way bigger than I believe most people realize, um, because we have an inner life and we have an outer life. We're used to exploring our outer life and things that we can talk about, but our inner life is not so easily explored. Um, in fact, we have to intuit much of it. In fact, more of it, far more of it than we can sort of come at rationally or methodically. Um, that why are you doing this is almost becomes a meaningless question because it's so utterly vague. What do you want out of this? Uh, do I want anything out of it? Or is it an end in itself? <laughs> Is that, you know, as Sugalan Ren said, is that is it the ten minutes that you spend relaxing your mind and that is sufficient unto itself? Is that right or wrong? It's neither. It's what is expected or what the motivation is for doing any of it in the first place, which is perfectly okay. Because I don't think that a human lifetime is enough to explore everything that's in here. I don't. Um and that that's not just me referring to my own mind. The number of things that are in there, in anyone's mind, who's made it to the age of 50 or 20 or whatever, is enough to, I think, blow anyone's mind when you sort of consider how much information is in there, how many experiences, and how much these experiences have molded or shaped who we are. Um, so I would say that there are as many answers to the question, why do you meditate, as there are, you know, uh, meditators, because it's, that's such a general question, and such a, I would almost say inadequate question, inadequate in terms of precision, that how would you even come at that from the very beginning? Um, for example, let's say that we're looking at it in terms of a goal. Well, I say that I'm into sort of Tantra. Tantra deals with, in many cases, the Kundalini, which is this sort of ecstatic feeling where this uh, bolt of feminine energy shoots up one's spine and explodes over the top of your head and you go into the state of extreme knowledge, bliss, whatever. Um, one could say that that's my goal because that's the kind of meditation that I engage in, but I doubt that I'll ever get so advanced into it that I'll achieve that. 
Okay, so why on earth are you doing it? <laughs> if you're not going to achieve your goal, then why are you doing it? Well, maybe I'm consciously dangling a carrot in front of myself. Consciously. <laughs> um, is that really the same thing as somebody else tricking you with a carrot? Like the way that we assume that people do with a donkey? What if you are putting your own carrots in front of you, even though you know that the closer you get to them, the farther they get away from you? Um, these are all techniques that we all employ uh, to achieve what we intuit that we desire out of meditation. Um, and I don't think that there's any yes, no, right, wrong way, as Sugalen Ren said. Uh, it's just we're talking about in here and human language is not really that well equipped to deal with talking about that um, that's why I say when you talk about things like Tantra or things with, that, that really emphasize dealing with one's inner life as opposed to the outer it always looks unimaginably weird <laughs> um, which in my case is kind of part of the fun 